Yo, what is going on everyone, and welcome to another installment of the Xfinity Series Championship Mode here for the Indiana 250. We are starting P11 here. We are tied with Cole Custer, 27 points out of the championship lead. And last but not least, we have Justin Allgaier, who's starting second place. He is currently the best driver around here, and I definitely want to be able to step up my game in order to be able to meet him. We have our setup right here. Of course, default. The only thing I changed is the front weight right here. Literally just pumped that up. We were a little loose going into uh, turns one and turns three. Um, after that, we have uh, the front sway bar over here. And I also lowered the right track bar on uh, down about 0.75 rounds. So hopefully, we can have a good race. Without further ado, chat. You guys excited? Let's get it. So Chad Fincham had a uh, replacement of transmission, so that's fine. Pole winner. Okay, so no one really of notes uh, lost out from uh, that entire thing. So still starting P11. So I'm starting on the inside. That's really, really good. And we are green. All right, so like I said, it's a 100 lapper. Definitely not going to go three wide going into the start here. Give Jarper and Earnhardt a little push. He seems to be uh, on the pace today. Careful, still there. I don't know, it's really weird uh, that Jarper Earnhardt is uh, line, like sometimes outside. on it, sometimes not. It's really weird. I have no idea why. Whoa, Tyler Reddick actually hit the wall there. What happened, dude? Calm down. All right, clear outside. That's not very good for the championship leader to do that. All right, so here's the true test of how planted it is. Car there on the inside. Yeah, it is. It's very planted going into turn three. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Still need to hit the uh, brake a little bit each and every time, but, you know, we'll, we'll work on that as we go. Still there. All right, going to go three Still wide there. here. Ooh, bring Jeffrey Earnhardt all the way back. Brandon Brown right right beside us. Looking to get P7 from Jeremy Clements, but to no avail. Oh, we're going to get loose off turn uh, two and turn four. I can feel it right now. I felt it going off of that uh, turn right there. But Brandon Brown's not giving up. Going into turn three, you're going to go a little extra deep here. You're going to have the momentum coming off of uh, three going into four. Bottom looks good. Turn four is going to be our money maker right here. That's where we gain a lot of our uh, time at. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how we do it. We're looking to get P7 on uh, Jeremy Clements using that momentum. Going down the front stretch past the start finish line. Still there. And hard, hard lifting going into uh, turn one. Still right there, though. Still there. Clear high, bud. Oh, thank you so much, Griffins. You saw, uh, you saw our tire go down, right? <laughs> that would have been a win. I was literally turn three, our tire went down. Oh, I was so mad. What's up, Cozy? How you doing today? Oh, dude, you just missed a race of a lifetime. That was, as uh, Sack Maniac pointed out, that was uh, Derek Cope versus Earnhardt at Talladega. Oh man, whoa, well, calm down there, Cozy. We don't, I don't mean to be asking if you're God. Dang. You ain't God. So. Yeah, you're doing good? Well, that's awesome, man. Have you uh, streamed yet today, or are you uh, kind of holding out on that? Okay, look. P7 looking on for P6 right now. Cool Custer has uh, passed Justin Haley and all that. My spelling is off today. Don't worry about it, man. I knew what you were talking about. I was just giving you shit. Hard, hard braking, actually, going into turn three. Nice and smooth, though. Nice and smooth. This 100 lap race, it can go either way here. It could either go really good for me or really bad. Indianapolis is very much a track position kind of uh, track. Look to the inside of Ross. Still there. That was a great lap. I 
I'm streaming today with a uh, new schedule. Ooh, what's the schedule? Oh man, that really hurt us right there. I saw Cole Custer. He was, yep, yep. They like to dive it down turn uh, two and four, so I gave a little extra room. Maybe too much, if you ask me, but you know, whatever. All right, you definitely don't want to be on, you do not want to be on the outside going into turns one and turns three. So kind of leave a little extra room here. I have no idea how the AI do it. So that kicks us back to 10th, damn. Don't worry, we're gonna use our godlike corner here at turn four, we're gonna gain up a lot of that momentum. You have a tweet on Twitter? Well, I haven't seen it, man. Could you tell me? Alright, right here. Bada bing. Oh, man, that really allows uh, Christopher... Uh, not Christopher Bell. Tyler Reddick to close on up. Ooh, Cole Custer went a little wide there. Whoa! Inside. You got room. You're clear. Well, dang. I wasn't expecting that. Rip. I thought I had that cleared. Oh well. Not a big deal. Inside. All clear. Yeah, calm down, Tyler. All right, here we go. Let's not do that again, shall we, chat? We are definitely not going to uh, just smack the wall coming off of two. Yeah, we are <laughs> giving that a little extra berth right there. Definitely not going to do that again. Oof, duh. Yeah, already lap seven, hitting the wall. Good talk. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. So it looks like we're coming up on, uh... Oh, it's Olgar that's actually slowing down. Oh, I thought that was Ross Chastain. Okay, I definitely could use more tape. I know I can. Probably like another 5%. That's about it. Got a car low now. All right, you're clear. Inside. Oh, Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Looking looking smooth. Oh, well, I mean, okay. Inside. Bottom three. Okay, you, 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 can't just, you can't just do that, my dude. You can't just keep diving it down like that. Oh, um, uh, okay, so Cozy, I, I see, uh, your times right there. Um, what games are you playing, though? That's what I was talking about, honestly. All right, old guyer. Got a car low now. All clear. Tyler Reich is definitely faster. He's trying, he's trying to get past me, honestly. But it looks like we're kind of pulling away a little bit. So that's exactly what we need. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to keep it low. Got to make sure he doesn't get that advance on us coming off of four. Because that's our, our corner right there. That's what we need. You guys are going to practice to get better at COD. Okay. Too much. Right, too much throttle. Went too deep. All right, so is that the only uh, game that you're going to be playing, man? Because I know that last time we talked, uh, you said that you were uh, you were thinking about it. Careful, still there. All, All right, right, pass all guy.
You already found your talent for a heat four. Okay. So you're gonna be sticking the cod then. I guess you. All right. Well, I guess we're leaving all guy in the dust. It doesn't help that Tyler Reich has literally just been so good, like, everywhere. Every single track. Fortnite's the same. Yeah, I never played Fortnite. I honestly, I honestly have no intention of ever playing Fortnite. De it's not my style. All right, but yeah, chat. Thank you all so much for stopping on out and watching me. We have 11 laps total in the book, starting lap 12 now. We are gaining on what looks to be the group headed by Ross Chastain. Tyler Reddick continuing to hound us. That's got to stop eventually. too high. Indianapolis is very pinpoint accurate. You have to be, like, on it at all times. Got one oh my god, the charge is going into turn four. But I will switch it around whenever a friend wants to play something new. If it's Heat 4 or Fortnite. Okay. Are you still are you still commentating for uh, for that league? The fun, fun league or something like that? Maybe curtains for me, chat. I think this is where Tyler Reich finally gets us. Still there. All right, you're clear. Oh, maybe not. I lied. Don't mind me, chat. Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yep, but you haven't heard from the league owner? Okay, well, have they been racing, my dude? Interesting. All right. So we finally caught this group right here. Gonna... Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's not happening. That's not happening. Nope. Went too hot and heavy, too shallow going into turn two, and that just killed us right there. So it drops us up back up to P10. Yeah, I need to loosen up for one. No, actually I don't. I it's not maybe tire pressure. Yeah, I need I need to do something with the tire pressures and then uh put more tape on it. That's what I need to do. That's how we make this car better. Well, and have you wanted to like join another league? Because I'm thinking about joining another league myself. I did commentate the uh, Coca-Cola Cup Series. Uh, race at Auto Club where you miss a good race and a finish. Well, you just race, you just miss a good race and a finish here. Right here on uh, Twitch.tv with Slash Private Batten. Last lap three-way fight for the lead last corner turn three blow a tire finish p3 what's up adam how are you doing today ah my tires are getting worn i can feel it it's it's really starting to affect the performance kind of burp it a little bit, try to see if that helps. I'm trying to get up to these guys. Indianapolis is such a track position oriented uh, track. Well, that's doing awesome, Adam. What uh, what brings you here to uh, 
our neck of the woods. Yeah, I definitely need to enter a little bit lower. Inside, load clear. Ross Chastain's really actually holding up the entire wheel of progress right here. Like, we have Cole Custer on the outside, who I think is honestly faster than everyone. We have Tyler Reddick on the outside, who I also think is faster, probably honestly faster than Cole Custer, if you ask me. But Ross is holding up everyone. Justin Haley to the inside, Brandon Jones to the inside. No one can make a pass. Did a lot of changes to the Twitch channel. Said so it's cozy. I also like the new channel page. Uh, I like the channel trailer where you introduce yourself to a new visitor. I just, I actually have just uploaded one of my clips to that thing. I think it's, I think that clip perfectly demonstrates what you would get here on a uh, typical uh, PVT private pad stream. Came to see some great racing. Well, dang, you come to the wrong place. When is the next league, uh, next league race? Uh, Friday. Friday, and it's the uh, it's the FRL league. Because I don't know if you call a great race and running here in tenth, not really doing a whole lot. Gaining, gaining, gaining. I am not going to go three wide here. Still there. I am letting off early to try to get a good launch. Inside. Clear down low. Whoa, I almost slapped the wall again. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Still a lot of racing left, though. Oh, yeah. Well, I, honestly, Adam, you missed a really good race. Because uh, this is the second race of two that we're doing today. I would highly recommend going back and watching the uh, first race as well. It was the uh, Truck 12 Track Championship Mode. Where we were racing at Atlanta. Highly recommend. For anyone that's just now popping in as well to go back and watch that. Alright, let's see if we can kind of weed someone out here. Careful, nope. Still there. Oh, actually, we're still... Oh, well, kind of. Ah, that's not how you take a corner. Oh, Christopher... Now Christopher Bell's here. Great. Perfect. What's up, Photo? How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream, man. Oh, no! Christopher Bell's right behind us. That's what we get for taking too damn long. 20 laps, still in 10th. 20 laps, started 11th. Okay, John Hunter, that's fine. You can go up there. I left the door open for you. You're good, man. Also got new things. Uh, a new phone case and a NASA shirt from grandparents when they travel to Texas. Well, that's awesome, man. Where'd that on stream? Look at inside now. Ooh, dang, Bell, calm down. Oof. Hold your line. Got one inside. All clear. All right. Doing well. Saw you get the message last night. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, man. I mean, you never have to apologize for uh, for having to leave early. I mean, like, yeah, do what you gotta do, man. Don't have to apologize. All right, let's see here. Cozy redeemed the tat uh, to tell you a history fact. All right, space fact. Oh God, that's not a history fact. Um, I mean, I guess this kind of has to do with space a little bit. Um, did you know that as a little girl, 
Hillary Clinton uh, wrote a letter to NASA saying that she wanted to be an astronaut. Hello, Wall. Um, that why she wanted to be an astronaut. However, they were told they were not looking for girls. I guess that kind of has to do with space, right? That's a history fact. Decided to fire up P3. A championship mode at 100 uh, AI difficulty for the first time. I have to use assist or on until I get used to the difficulty. Ran 26 and a 50% 500. Ooh, dang. You know what? No, dude, you'll get, you'll get there. Just gotta get some practice in ya. You're doing great, my dude. Oh, hello, J uh, John Hunter. You are just blasting right now. Trying to go three wide? What the hell? Using 50%, uh, percent, uh, but two times tower to compensate? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Apollo 11 was history, yeah. Well, to be honest... Oh, um... Inside, all clear. That one of the, one of the main, um... One of the main, uh, well, what's it called? Engineers, um, at NASA. Gene Krantz. Um... For Apollo 11. Graduated from my high school. You got room. You're clear. That's a history fact. Since you wanted to be about Apollo 11. I think I need to, uh, a wheel to be smooth. My thumb and left stick is just unstable to hold the line. Yo, Sander, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. Alright, what are we pinning here? 13 laps? God. Car there on the inside. All right, Bell, stop. Clear. I'm doing a race at Bristol with 250 laps. Ah, 100% or nothing. I say this virus is world history, too, not even joking. Well, I think it's... It will be for a little bit. Like, we are living in a uh, time and place where history is being made with all this stuff. Not you, Siri. Get out of here. I hate how she just butts in sometimes. Um, however... You know, I don't think we're going to be looking at it as much as, like, we do with, like, AIDS. Like, we'll be, we'll be remembering, hey, remember coronavirus? Because there, there have been deadlier diseases. Like, even, like, in terms of the... Uh, you Stop it! Oh, no. Jesus. Uh, even with, like, um... Not the coronavirus, uh, like the bubonic plague. We, it's only like a small stepping stone in history. We, um, state standards uh, don't even cover it. They talk about like medieval, uh, like main things they have to get across to students is the concept of feudalism. Uh, you know, that's fine. All well and good. But like the bubonic plague is not really something. That's like more like a supplemental thing. But yeah, no, I agree. Like, it is, it is history. Like, it's something that we're going to tell our uh, grandkids about. Hey, remember uh, great, uh, the Great Corona Scare? That's what I'm going to be telling my kids. However, hello, looseness, my old friend. Well, I swear to God, if you do it again. Got one inside. All right, it wasn't as bad as last time. Inside. You're all clear on the bottom. All right. But yeah, chat. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Private Patton. A little bit about me, I am a master's student trying to get my uh, degree, my master's, in education because I want to teach high school social studies. I have a variety of skills, one of which is being able to drive a race car, 100% race length, on a controller. One of my uh, skill sets. It doesn't quite give me a job, but it's something I can't I can, uh, put on my resume either. Hello, Bell. There you go. You know what, man? Just knock yourself out. B, 
but yeah. And whenever I'm not trying to uh, uh, teach uh, students or uh, make lesson plans, I am streaming Masquerade Heat 4 every day. So there's always something to watch. If you are new around here, come and say hi. I would love to talk to you. We are a very interesting group that loves to talk. It's funny that people uh, are calling the Chinese or Wuhan virus corona is racist. Oh, well, yeah. Next, they're going to say that call... Well, okay, that that's anecdotal right there. But, uh... I definitely get what you mean about, uh... I definitely get what you mean with, um... The, uh, coronavirus. That... I, I can definitely see how that's gonna be racist. And the anecdotal evidence is saying that, uh... Uh, the Black Death, by calling it the Black Death is racist. That... There is no racist connotation there. Because how it would traditionally be used to make it racist, there's no correlation between that. Ah. I get you. Well, just put me, slap me under r slash whoosh. Oh, hello. That's what you guys get for being stuck on the outside, suckers. I uh, don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but uh, it's okay that people died. Hmm. I disagree with that. I mean, it's never okay that people died. I mean, it's still a very serious topic. One thing I don't get is the string breakers that aren't taking it seriously. Oh, cool cusser. It's definitely not okay that people died from that. Hello, Cold Buster. There you go. Yeah, I that I would definitely recommend rewording that because that came out incredibly racist, my dude. I and I don't take well the racist comments. I'm glad that you explained yourself. Just please watch that for future reference, okay? Uh, Ram. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get leave them out to dry right here. Gonna take a very shallow approach. Clear high, clear high. Inside, clear low, bud. All right, let's just drop the topic. How about that? That is something that I'm just gonna just nip in the butter right now. Let's just do that. Let's talk about something else. Uh, Ross, Ross, Ross the boss. Uh, you know what's good? I'll just I'll follow you a little bit. All clear. So, getting a run, getting a run. Stay on the bottom here. Yes, NASCAR is back this week, and I am so looking forward to it. Stay on the bottom. Texas, virtual Texas is going to be great. Got a car low now. If the race is right, like anywhere half as good as what it was uh, last time, it's going to be it's going to be a good race. And we're going to watch... Oh, everyone's going to watch the race. Especially since it's going to be on the uh, uh, mainline Fox channel. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Inside. Jesus, what line was I trying to take? Got a car low now. All clear. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Yeah, 
I'm looking forward to it. I am uh, last the last week's race at Homestead. I feel like was exactly what NASCAR fans needed, and I feel like uh, the virtual race at Texas is going to be even better because we're going to essentially drivers are figuring themselves out. Stay on the bottom. You know. They are going to be, I hope the race is cleaner. You know, obviously there's going to be some lag issues every now and then. That just, that just happens with any online game. But, uh, but yeah. So I feel like... Still there. Damn. Okay, well, I was trying to make a run on Ross right here. Inside. All clear. I have Chris Rebell pawing at me right now. I'm going to be pitting next lap, is what I'm trying to say, chat. Lap 35. Here we go. What am I going to do here? Definitely need to put more tape on. Got one inside. Oh, well, I'm going to be balled up right here. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. This is how this is how I die. Car down the inside. All right, this time, this time. Outside. Hold oh, your line. Oh, hello, All hello. Clear. And bada bing, bada boom, what's that speed? Now. Back it down, back it down. There we go. Uh, tape. Actually, weirdly enough, wedge is fine. Let's make a small air pressure adjustment. Bring that down here. Bring that down here. And bada bing, bada boom, that's how we do it. Paid a dollar eighty nine for gas. Dang, we. I'm pretty sure Ohio hit like uh, hit like a uh, like one twenty at some point. Like it was absolutely insane. Like how uh, low it went. Yo, Brew four one four. Thanks so much for the follow, my dude. Hopefully you're enjoying. Oh, that's how we do it. Excellent timing. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, that's how we go to the front. Any benefit to this? Uh, it essentially allows for tire wear. The lower the, lower the, um, the uh, uh, air pressure, the, uh, um, the looser you are. So yeah, we are definitely, uh, everyone's pitting here. So by us pitting on that lap, mm, primo, primo stuff. There was, and there was really no downside to it either, because uh, we there was like we were almost in no way uh, getting lapped. Oh man, Michael and oh he was they were also on pit road. Oh that makes more sense. Be ready here. Up 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 up. There we go. Whoa whoa Michael and that whoa calm down dude. Bottom's looking good. Alright, you're clear. Okay then, well, that's how we get the lead, I guess. Seems about, uh, you run about five less, uh, on the left and five higher on the right in the stock setups. Yeah, you can adjust it on pit road. Um, being able to, uh, adjust that is what makes the car, well, honestly, better than just what the uh, general setups give you. Oh, that was that was trash. That was trash. I'm not even going to try blocking from that. That was absolute garbage. That that turn was absolute garbage. I am not even. Oh, wow, I'm embarrassed. So in, pass out. 
Who's ordering the Rise of Skywalker in the movie, uh, Star Wars movie connection? Ah, uh, pass for me. Yeah, generally speaking, the uh, lower the tire wear, the uh, or yeah, uh, lower the air pressures, the less tire wear you have. Generally. Oh, but I I am a little bit tighter though. I think that's just because um, air um, air temps need to go up a little more. That was a good corner. So yeah, I guess Chase Briscoe and Michael Annette hit that time before us. So they actually came out ahead of us. So we didn't quite get that lucky, you know what I mean? We got lucky, but not that lucky. How are we doing on uh, tape? Oh, looks like we can put a little more on, honestly. But yeah, for any newcomers, yeah, feel free to say hi. I'd love to talk to you. Like, I only, like, put up one round. Oh, my God. I am blasting tight. You ever follow any good uh, racers, uh, race car drivers uh, on Twitch for iRacing? Lando Norris. Uh, Noah Gragson was on, there, on that list as well. Tape allows for better air, but can raise the oil temp, if I remember correctly. Correct. Um, it also essentially allows you to go faster in a straight line. Excellent See? Good job. Like, my corners was trash right there, but we ran our fastest times of the uh, day so far. That's just because uh, we have a straight line speed advantage. Like, we are a, not quite like a bullet in a straight line, but we are dang close to it. Follow Anthony Alfredo and Garrett Smithley. Makes sense. Honestly, I need to check in on Gary Smithley. I know, uh, I know that uh, he is a very good racer. He he showed his talent um, at Homestead, is what I'm trying to say. He didn't do so hot in uh, the replacement uh, race yesterday, but you know what? Whatever. That's neither here nor there. One ninety two across the line. Very smooth, very smooth. Oh, I, I know. I, I know, I know his name on uh, Twitch. I just haven't checked it out yet. And a few other racings like uh, John Bo, Matt Malone. Oh, I know Matt Malone. I. I usually watch his uh, clips, but I don't watch his streams. Yo, NASCAR, long time no see. How are you doing today? Man, I'm a little tight right now. I may actually have to loosen this thing up. Oh, that was a quick caution. Well, we just pit. There's no reason for us to pit again, so... Might as well keep this track position right. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Uh, Allgaier is 13th, so that's interesting. Cole Custer is 9th. Uh, Tyler Reddick, where is he at? Tyler, Tyler. Ooh. Oh, wow, he's 18th. Damn. Crazy Surf Guy, welcome to the stream, man. Also, long time no see. Yeah, um, that's Fast Pasta. That's uh, his name. Oh, and Matt Malone? Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, gotta get warmed up. Uh, we're good. Alright, be smart out here. Going green. Almost All right. ready. Green down, let's go. And Tyler Reddick needs to uh, step it up a little bit. If 
he wants to uh, maintain his uh, championship lead, he needs to uh, really start stepping it up. Still there. Car high. Careful. Oh my god. I wish I could hold it on the outside. Like, oh, well, Noah Gregson just hit the wall, so rip. Pasta's at the top of my recommended channels list right now. Fat, fast pasta. Still there. Ooh, someone's out of this race. Inside. All nope. Clear. Nope, Justin Haley, we're blocking you. Sorry, teammate. Got a car low now. All clear. So who's out of this race? Uh, Caesar Baccarilla? Or Vinny Miller? It's one of those two. Uh, in interesting. I either way. But yeah. Anyone that's uh, new popping in here, welcome. This is the Xfinity Championship mode. Race number 19. Okay, Justin Haley, that's fine. Uh, race number 19. Not 19. Oh my god, I wish I could count. Uh, 22. All clear. For the Indiana 250 here at the Brickyard. Hopefully, as we go into the last three races of the season after this race, we can go in with our head held high as Tyler Reddick is somewhere back there. Somewhere back there, far back there. That we actually can make up our points. And who is that? Oh, that's Ross right there. Okay, we're fine. That's the halfway mark. Yeah, I'm tight. I need to loosen up. Inside. All clear. Justin Haley, like, stop. Poking your nose in there. You're worse than Christopher Bell back there, who constantly tried to dive it down the inside, going into turn four. Calm down. Calm down, bud. Cole Custer caught us, so that's not that's not good. Because going into this race, we were 27 points behind uh, uh, behind championship leader Tyler Reddick, only a handful behind Justin Allgaier, and then last but not least, tied with Cole Custer. Well, since we're uh, Cole Custer's like two positions behind us. Got one inside. All right, calm down, Justin Haley. What's everyone's opinion of the iRacing World Sports Status Session? It's the best thing that could happen, honestly. Because now, if you think about it, um, NASCAR has a monopoly on uh, sports right now. If we think of it business-wise, the only live sports that are happening is eSports, and that's exactly what NASCAR would want. Clear low, bud. You got uh, 900,000 people watch uh, the um, iRacing on Sunday, and that made it the... Uh, Biggest, <clears throat> biggest uh, eSport event to be televised that people actually tuned in for. And with them actually putting it on Main Branch Fox uh, next week, I am assuming we're about to get like about like a million people easily that's going to watch. Well, ESPN is also... Uh, uh, putting out some weird alternative sports, like marble racing. Like, you know what? I'm all for Gels Marbula 1. I don't think it belongs on ESPN, though. Welcome back, Real Randy. I'm wondering how many uh, watched purely because they were stuck at home. Honestly, I have no idea. I wish that uh, stat would have been released, but I'm sure, I'm sure that's probably a fair amount of people, honestly. Well, I botched turn one, but we should still have a good run. There we go. I'm looking for Tyler Reddick back here. He's back there somewhere. I know he is. Lurking. Poker isn't a sport, and they broadcast the hell out of it. Well, yeah. I mean, honestly, that's just gambling right there. Like, CNN uh, did a uh, edit... Not, no, it wasn't CNN, my bad. Um, 
ABC Evening News uh, did uh, did an editorial on people that uh, watch uh, and gamble all sports. That turns out gambling, they were looking to like, gamble for anything. Like the amount of times that Trump says uh, China is one of them. Um, for their weekly, uh, for, sorry, for their daily sites for, uh, for for updates on the coronavirus, they uh, they uh, gamble how many times the person's going to talk about healthcare. Right? It's stuff like that. People are getting desperate, man. I get get their fix in. Their fixins. Inside. All right, you're clear. But hopefully, iRacing gets a uh, gets a considerable share from uh, all this. You know, they uh, hopefully they get more subscribers and get more people to race on the platform because this is exactly what they needed some kind of boost uh have uh a lack of business you know because iRacing is the only thing that allows uh at least racing to continue to be televised and i think it's awesome Really went up high right there going in, during the short shoot going to three and four. Trying to get that momentum coming off four. You want eye racing so bad? Hashtag same. I wish I had a wheel. Wheel and pedals, honestly. All I have is this dumb old controller. I can't I can't race a controller on eye racing. Inside. Clear low bud. Oh, I think that's him right there, actually. Yeah, Tyler X moving his way forward. Damn it all. I wonder if he was the cause of the caution. Like, if he was the uh, one that uh, blew a tire right there. Because I know that's not him on pit road right now. Uh, if you ever are in the market for a setup, look up... Uh, Rick Tech, they got great stuff. Well, I'm also looking, not really looking right now, because currently I'm on uh, job layoff. But maybe after. I mean, I'm also looking for something on a budget, you know? Oh, yeah, that was, that was trash. That was absolute garbage. That turn was trash. I apologize, Cole Custer, my bad. I had to really pedal it through uh, that corner. Oh, he'll be back up to me in no time. Oh, and they have a bunch of sets. Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the talk of the town right there. That's what we need. Slab me with some wheel and pedals for like a buck. It'll burn out in one race, but hey, gosh darn it, I will have my uh, iRacing rig. Oh, hang on, Cozy. I saw that you said something. Let me get uh, let me get on the back stretch to read it. Luckily, we're at uh, Indianapolis, so I can... Uh, less than a thousand bucks. Ooh. Yep, not going to happen. Mm, no. I wanted to tell you this a long time ago. They did a charity thing uh, through Steam Labs to give money towards the coronavirus. Uh, I want to be that kind of person? Well, for sure, man. I mean, I don't think I'm big enough to have thousands of people come on out and give a charity stream. But I'm glad that you want to be like that, though, my dude. When was the last time TA was here? TA was, uh, here, uh, this... Like, literally here for the first race. I, I'm sure he probably peaced on out, though. Why? What's up? Yeah, less than a thousand bucks? Yeah, no thanks. Mm. Like thirty dollars max. Looking inside now. All right, Cole Custer, we get it. We get it. You're fast. Ooh. Oh, we're not gonna 
get there. Still there. Gonna give him plenty of room though. Inside. All right, you're clear. All right, so we lost P5. Damn it all. Well, I'm glad. Well. Seven thousand seven hundred. Dang. Well, you have more money than I do, so there's that. Never heard of that photo. Got one inside. Load clear. Well, there you go, man. If you feel like you have a call, then go ahead and do it. Nobody's gonna stop you now. Well. Got a car low now. Clear all around. Hell, if I could actually uh, hook up like a uh, what's it called, like a um, toys for tots uh, kind of rig, and I could race high racing with it. Let's go. Put in a uh, play school wheel and pedals. Mm, there we go. I'd race the hell out of that. Playmate. There we go. That's my brand of choice. Yeah, my, my tires are killing me right now. Oh, uh, and truthfully, the pedals cost the most. Yeah. Happy hump day. Oh, no. Who was it? Is that Gigamax? Oh, hang on. Let me get in the front stretch so I can see who said it. I missed it. Chat's moving so fast I can't even see. Car there on the inside. Oh my God, Brandon Jones. Okay, you know what? Fine, fine, fine. Make contact with me. Still there. What's up, Gigamax? How are you doing today? Happy Hump Day to you as well. Chat, I'm honestly not really looking for a setup. Like, it, like, it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not... I, I only say uh, I'm looking to go to iRacing, like, in the far-off future. Like, when I have, like, a stable full-time job. Whew. I think uh, PlayStation has its own wheel, but I'm not actually looking for a wheel and pedals. I'm not... I'm actually not in the market for it. I'm just saying I am in the far-off future. I appreciate... I appreciate all of that, but I just want to nip that in the bud right now. Don't worry about it. Photo, what's going on? Oh, see, oh, the simulations for diseases. Oh, dang. Ah, uh, dreaded one eye racing makes a return. I got a hair in my eye again. Rip. Well, I had to deal with this, like, all race yesterday. Here we are again. That's Ryan Sieg right there. Interesting. I've been running my PC at various power levels over new reports that so many people uh, are helping thanks to COVID. Cool. hello. Yeah, I, I am dying right now. The power together is bigger. Uh, it's bigger than the seven large soon. Ah, wow. Dang, that is insane. Yeah, I'm sure PlayStation has its own uh, wheel, but I'm not actually in the market for a wheel. I'm perfectly happy with my controller. It's essentially allowing me to uh, relearn how to drive all over again. So yeah, it's fine, but thank you guys though. Uh, I'm probably uh, getting a Logitech G29. Oh, dang, man. When you can run a uh, PC? There you go, Gigamax. I mean, that's just not my cup of tea. I just want you guys to know that. Looking inside now. Clear low. Oh, I'm just happy to use my computer to help out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly, Photo. See, like, I see that you guys are actually, like, pooling uh, together, and I think that's awesome. Oh, my 
my god. Okay, I need to scratch my eye after this. I'm not using my fingers. I'm gonna use like the back of my palm. Farther on the inside. Yeah, there you go, Bell. We get we get it here fast. Careful, still there. There we go. Ross is in eleventh right now. I heard the uh, Logitech G29 is like the best wheel. Use a back scratcher. Oh, let's not say we did. Uh, like I have my, I just have like my wrist right there. It's, it does the work of God. Still there. I wish I could just cut down the field like that. Damn. All right, so chat. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna pit early, lap 70 to be exact. And then go the rest of the way. I shouldn't go a lap down. Actually, you know... Mm. Chat, what do you think? Should I pit early? Or should I wait until this... Uh, until my fuel mileage... Uh, tells me I need to pit. What do you think, chat? Most people I talk about um, about the G29 reviews are saying it's a great star wheel, but that's not. Ah. It's so it's not like the final product. It's like a stepping stone. I get you. So yeah, chat. Whatever you guys decide on is what I'll go with. Do I pit early, or do I wait until I absolutely have to? Wait till two or three laps left on gas. Okay, go until I absolutely need to. You got a question? Oh, okay. Hang on, Cozy. We'll get to that here in a second. Anyone going against Photo's, uh, Photo's idea of going to the end? Is anyone for pitting now? Well, pitting here in like two laps. Fantech is the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks there. Far too expensive for me. All right, so question of the day, for who is the best uh, iRacing setup for a NASCAR, NASCAR driver? Um, well, considering that uh, there's a lot of people that had theirs custom made, I would have to say, like, either Denny Hamlin or um, Jimmy Johnson. Are cautions on? Yes, Gigamax. Cautions are on. I like the track map in the bottom of the corner. Hashtag same. If I were to pit, I'd be pitting this lap, so let me know. Because currently we have go until essentially I need to. Which is here in about like another eight laps or so. Gigamax says, ooh, pit early. Jimmy was in a full simulator and look how he fared. Well, exactly. But I'm just saying, though, it's a very good setup, a very good rig. The driver behind it, though, oh. a little, a little sketchy, but yeah. All right, so we have one, one over early. Speed hasn't dropped off too badly. Well, I'm just trying to get an edge on the competition. That's what I'm trying to do. What's up, Dewey? How you doing today? Long time no see, my dude. How you doing today? Happy hump day. God, chat. It was like this entire day. Like I kept feeling like it was Thursday. Like I want it to be the weekend so badly. Not much been busy with. Oh, like what? Well, I can imagine like with all this stuff going on. Go as long as you can. Okay. Well, chat. I guess since we've already uh, passed it, we're already on lap 71. We might as well just uh, keep going as long as we can. I want to know where Tyler Reddick's at. That's that's one 
person I'm curious about. Wait, it's Wednesday? I thought it was Saturday. Yeah, we're not in Sangria Saturday yet. Man, not going into my school or any kind of education system is really messing with my, uh, with my flow of time. Like, holy god. Working, I had to take the race car to my dad to do some work on the body. Ooh, dang, yeah, man. I get you. How is, uh... How has, uh, the whole virus thing affected you in that regard? If you don't mind me asking. Being laid off will do that to you? Yeah, well, yeah. Being laid off for one, so not working. Not, uh, going to student teach. That's another. Not teaching. That's another. So it hasn't really impacted you at all, then. May 1st. If you're May 1st, your first race. Well, at least that's good. You know, that's a, uh, step in the right direction. But yeah, like, it, it's just messing with my flow of time, you know? I don't know what day it is. Hours are bleeding together. For all I know, it's 1992. Davey Allison's gonna win this championship at the Hooters 500, just you watch. There's no way that he can lose this championship. Absolutely none. Oh, that man, that was, ooh, awful turn one, awful. I'm not laid off, I have to work every day. And might as well just bottle it as well with turn two. God, man, terrible lap, terrible lap. Well, at least you have that. Yo, Nakuma, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. How are you doing today, my dude? Chad, that puts us to 295 followers. Five more, and we have our 300 follower goal. Thank you all so much for supporting me during all this time. You guys are awesome. Hey, man, I just got this game a couple days ago and really like it. Well, hey, welcome to the party, man. Glad to have you, Nakuma. I play this game every day, and I can honestly say it's my favorite. I love this game. I do. And you know what? But 300 followers uh, means that we are going to have a giant open lobby. That's it. That's what we're going to do with 300. Oh, hang on. So, I guess we're going to pit here in about next lap. <laughs> next lap or the lap after, lap after. Any thoughts on Asker saying that they are going to run the full season no matter what? Well, considering that rumors are flying around that they're running midweek races as well as double headers, I'm really looking forward to it, honestly. I welcome the, the change. I think it's going to be awesome. And honestly, this allows, this, weirdly enough, this whole virus situa situation really opens the door for NASCAR to experiment, you know? Uh, with weekday races back again, having double headers, it really allows them to experiment. And with the rumor mill flying around that, and with NHR actually doing it, uh, of going back to season-long points, it's really going to gauge interest on what's going to go on. Yeah, I guess I'm pitting next lap. You're almost out of gas. I'm still working on the mechanics. Do you uh, normally just lay off the gas on turns? Do you actually have to use your brakes? Well, in this particular instance, chat, or not Coom, sorry, specifically, I am uh, letting off the throttle and then braking. Just like, if you're on controller, just like a tap or two, and that's it. That's all you need. But like here in turns two, just let off gas. Most of the time, that's all you need. It just depends on the track. Like, um, New Hampshire, for one, is a track that you actually have to use your brakes on. All right, um, short tracks you have to use your brakes on. You're almost out of gas. 
It all depends on the flow, uh, feel of the car, honestly. So yeah, we're pitting this time. The car ahead of you is pitting. Looks like everyone is as well. Back it down, back it down. Yeah, double hairs could be bad for driver safety. Nah, yeah, I guess. Um, oh yeah, I gotta loosen up, that's what I gotta do. So, only like a little bit. I gotta go back a little bit here and bring this up around as well. And bada bing, bada boom, that's how we do it. Are you still doing every series? Yes, sir. Every single series. And if you miss anything, it's always up on my YouTube. Ah, oh, damn, I missed it. Oh, whatever. Just know that the other car is going to the ghost mode when you pit. Yeah, that's on the newest update. That wasn't like that originally. Which is good, because uh, it actually allows for better pit times, as well as uh, online uh, not being messed up. So we didn't gain or lose anything here. Damn it all. Clear the pit. Hammer down. Ah, there's Tyler Reddick. I was wondering where he was. Current leader right now. Interesting. We're about to, we're about to see how that uh, shakes on out. Yeah, he was definitely back in the pack, so coming, oh, less than 20 to 5 to go. We have, like, what, like, 22 coming this time? We're definitely in good shape for a top 10, no matter what, no matter how you, uh, how you look at it. All right, so we're going to see uh, Zane Smith, Jeremy Clements, Vinny Miller. Tyler Reddick. Oh, right there. He's coming off pit lane right now. That's the championship points leader there in, in uh, 11. Yo, Dewey, thank you so much for uh, gifting a tier one sub to Nakum. Welcome to the sub club, Nakum. And thank you, Dewey, for doing that, my dude. And do it yourself. Thank you so much for the subscribe. For the subscription. Re-upping and welcome back for two whole months. Thank you so much, my dude. While you've been away, I actually put in more uh, more emotes, so definitely check them out. I like to think they're pretty hot. Yeah, tier one subscription right there. Thank you so much, man. One gifted... One actual, uh, one actual re-up. Thank you so much. All right, so Joey Gase is going to be coming off in a really weird spot for me. Oh, well, I guess not. I guess they're just better at this than me. Careful, still there. There we go. All right, you're clear. So, very uneventful uh, green flag pit stop right there. Basically came in exactly where we left off. Not really a whole lot of uh, ground gained. Yeah, there we go. Also, my personal favorite is the one the war one. That is uh, Joey Logano uh, as a uh, tank crushing a Martin Truex Jr. Uh, car underneath it saying that we won the war. That is my personal favorite. I'm really happy over that. Still there. Yeah, that one. All right, clear outside. That's uh, that's one of the things that I'm like actually like super stoked for. I'm so glad I had that made. Yeah, welcome to the sub club, you two. Well, welcome back, Dewey, and welcome Nakum. And I gotta get this PA for you then. looking here. Tyler Rick back in 11th, so we're only going to gain like a grand total of two points on him if this, if this is the case. Yeah, a lot deeper than I wanted to go does Bell. Yeah, we definitely loosened up, so the car feels good. 
little pushing up the track though, just a little bit. Not not a huge deal. But it's fine. Alright. We have less than 20 to go, chat, here at the brickyard. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to make up for. P9, trying to get at least P8 right here. Tyler Reddick is also flying right now. He's going to be coming up back up to our rear end probably before the race actually gets done. Now looking forward to that. Two seconds uh, separates P10 from 11. Like I said, with Tyler Reddick being the championship points leader, there's not a whole lot of opportunities for me uh, to gain a lot of points on him. He is just too good. Christopher Bell here in fifth position in the uh, point standings. Cole Custer being... I want to say what? At least in fifth place, probably. That's not helping matters at all, either. Tommy Joe Martin's being a little bit of a cork here. Careful, still there. Trying to get a little extra momentum. Slow in, fast out. Still there, all the way to the wall. So hopefully, Chris Bell kind of gets held up by, who is that, Vinnie Miller right there? Oh, that's Jeff Green. Oh no, he just goes right to the inside. Yep, there's no no hope right there. Chad, we're trying, we're trying. Stay low, stay low. At least we're doing better than our starting position. We started P11, All the way up to here the to P9. Not a whole lot of ground gain, but you know, it's definitely, not, at least we're not going back. One issue in the in that 500 uh, I had earlier was I lost the draft twice, got back up to the field of caution flags. And honestly, you can just change that with uh, the draft settings. I mean, I like to play basically with no draft because it's hard. But I definitely don't recommend that for everyone. Like, look at me. Um, when we did the Truck of Tomorrow series, I lost the draft twice. And luckily, had, uh, had caution flags to pull me back up front. We ended up winning that race, but, you know, that's never guaranteed. Yeah, Christopher Bell is really stepping up uh, his race right now. He is not letting me gain any kind of ground. As I say that, as I gain ground. Is draft uh, settings in the session settings menu? Oh, um, in Heat 4. Sorry, my bad. That's the setting that in Heat 4 you can do, not in Heat 3. Ah. Just the way that they can throw it in there is absolutely absurd. I wish I could do that. Chat, do you guys think there's going to be another uh, caution bump and run? I mean, I'm thinking about it, honestly. Because this, because Tyler Reddick is, like, actually, like, being... A, I'm, I don't know. like Because I, I think he's honestly, like, we're going, like, the same pace. But I know as we get closer and closer to, like, these cars, like, right up here. Yeah, it looks like Noah got held up by... Uh, by those lap cars, so we definitely need to look on, on out for that. I feel like um, as uh, they kind of, as he kind of gets choked up behind these uh, lap cars, we'll we'll get past him. How's Ross doing right here? Or Ryan Sieg? Okay, so Alaric's only a second behind Ryan Sieg now. We're maintaining our gap though between me and him, so that's good. Oh, this is our opportunity. This is exactly what we need. Hello. Plenty of room, plenty of room. All clear. Hello. 
Oh, Christopher Rowe. No, don't do that. Clear high. Clear high. Rip. Okay, that's fine. We'll let him go. Let him go, but he was going to get choked on up behind Matt Mills again. Or oh, so I thought. My God, Bell. This is why you're an Xfinity prodigy, but suck in the Cup Series. Stay on the bottom. <sighs> I'm wondering, if you take a driver that's uh, usually a back marker, and let me finish that up uh, on the back stretch, or on the front stretch. Have a good day, Cozy. Thank you so much for stopping on out. Have a good stream today, by my, my, my dude. If I read that correctly, of course. Right? Uh, you're streaming today, or did did I uh, misread that? Uh, use a back marker in a championship. Will you be able to run up front, or it still suck? Um, it basically championship. Uh, whatever car you're in, uh, it equals out to whatever the best possible uh, car you can get. So yeah, it gives it gives you basically as like a, a five star equivalent ride. There's no way this thing goes uh, green the rest of the way, right? Right? Do we live in a world where uh, there's only going to be one caution this entire race? And somehow we got lucky enough to hit it as we were on pit road? Anytime, my dude. Tell you what, I can definitely feel the effects of it being loose. Ooh, yeah, too tight, too tight. Well, never mind. <laughs> Almost just smacked the wall coming off, too. Yeah, that was... Definitely had to back on out of that. Alright, but I see Tyler Reddick has caught Ryan Sieg. I wonder if that's going to be an easy pass for him, or he's going to kind of get held up a little bit. I guess we'll find out. Can't really see him right there. Oh, coming up four right now. Alright, ten laps to go, chat. Ten to go. Wait, oh, someone blew an engine up here. I can see it. I can, I seen it. And that's how we get P8. Shadow pinch him, it looks like. Okay, how's that going to impact Tyler Reddick? Oh, actually a lot because uh, he gets choked up behind him, it looks like. Rip. Do you remember when this track had a, a huge apron that was wide enough for Indy cars and they used in the corners? Yes, I do remember that when the safe lane was used. Yeah, that was way back in the day. Okay, so PA right there, perfect. All right, Zane. Stay on the bottom here. It, at least we caught um, Chad Fincham uh, on the straight, and we could actually duck down low like that. But no caution for that. Interesting. I find that interesting, honestly. It's weird how infrequent mechanical failures doesn't throw the yellow for everything. Like, you, you could blow uh, a tire and uh, not bring out the yellow. Well, poor Chad Fincham. I don't know if he was having a good race, but, well, he's out now. So, I guess sucks to suck. Barely tap the wall. Looks like we, we got out of it, uh... We got out of it just in time. Alright, but chat. 
You guys are awesome. I just wanted to let you know that. Thank you all for so much for being here. What do you think we can do? Can we get Noah Gregson, who is currently holding the P7 position? We got Chris Ravel by a little stroke of luck, and it just shows that we actually are running like about the same times. Because he hasn't really been able to close up to me. There's Kaz Grala running number 21. Kaz, 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 oh, come on, Kaz. Oh, this, this is how uh, Crystal Bell gains on us. Careful, still there. Careful, still there. Three wide, all clear. There we go. Oh, whew. I thought, thought I lost that spot right there. All right, we're good, though. So, Kazgrel is in 27th. I can only assume that Chase Briscoe at this point has, like, the top 20 laps. I mean, like, easily. That really allowed Tyler Reck to close on in. I mean, we're not in danger of him actually uh, losing a spot to him. But, I mean, if we co constantly hit the apron like that, we're gonna we're eventually going to lose a spot to him. That's not how we do things around here. That's not the private patent way. Five to go, Chad. Five to go. This is Mike Harmon in 26. Michael Annette uh, to the lead. Chase Briscoe must have got held up by someone. All right, clear low. How do you come up with that with that screen name? So let me tell you a story, Chad. When I was a wee teenager, so about. 12 years ago at this point, when Modern Warfare 2 first came out, I wanted to be elite pro gamer, MLG extraordinaire. I got, I unpacked my PS3, and I'm just like, well, I need to go get online. I had no idea how to create a screen name. So, what, what happened is, uh, what happened is, I got online, I had to create a screen name, and I'm just like, huh, well, based on what I've seen, you have to be the first rank that you get while, um, while in Call of Duty is private. I was like, okay, that's fine. And I'm a huge history nut. I mean, that's why I want to teach social studies when I, uh, when I get my license. I'm just like, well, what do you, uh, what's my favorite World War II general? Ah, uh, <clears throat> George S. Patton. So, combine the two together, Private Patton. And that's and that's how I got my name. And apparently Private Patton was taken, so I had to change it to THE Private Patton. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how we get there. Yeah, Chase Briscoe lost the lead. Michael Annette's currently in the lead, but I, I'm willing to bet money that he's not going to be able to, to hold it. Chase has been... A very, very good this entire run. We'll find out, though. Is Michael Neck actually going to hold on for two more laps as he comes out of turn four? Nice, and here I thought your parents just didn't like you as a kid. Yeah, no, no. No, I didn't like myself as a kid. Looking back on it... Oh, man, rip. That was my own mistake right there. Went too high. Allowed right, Bell all the room in the world. Can't have that with two laps to go. Looking back on it, I'm just like, man, I would have hated me. If I was a teacher now, look, and I taught myself, I've been like, dude, shut up. Right. What are you doing? Good laps, bro. Like, I represented uh, everything that my teacher self would have hated. And it's very ironic, honestly. Do to go, chat. Will Michael Net hold on? Coming out through turn four one more time. Coming down the long front stretch, uh, front stretch one more time around. 
speaking of us, going through turn three right now. He has a massive lead. While he's uh, starting crossing the start finish line, we're entering turn three. That is a distance between first and eighth. Absolutely insane. That is the power of Pine Saw, baby. So Michael and that coming up on lap traffic. Will that actually impact things? Or will that be the perfect to go. the perfect opportunity for Chase Briscoe to strike? Coming down the long back stretch. Entering turn three right about now. Yep, there he is. Looks like he caught that lap traffic exactly where he doesn't want to. But it looks like he will actually hold off Chase Briscoe, who's immediately right behind him, I can tell. Coming down the uh, front stretch one more time. I do believe this is Michael on that second win of the season. Well, good job to him. Winning the Indiana 250, and bam. Coming off a of turn four for me. Uh, we started P11. Uh, gained a little points on Tyler Reddick, two to be exact. Coming off turn four. And we come home P8. I'll take it. Nice job. Always, always want to advance our position. Start at P11. Finish. Oh, what a one. Ugh. 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 Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, anyway. So, let's take a look at the finishing results. <laughs> Little did I know that I was preparing myself for self-isolation. Isolationism. Cole Custer finishing P4. That is not how we do things around here. Michael Annette with his second win. Yeah, look at that. He was six tenths away. So, so close. Speed rating goes over 100. Well, I'm just saying in terms of... Uh, I usually get at least 103. Like, And, I, and I, I think that's just because I'm using a default setup, honestly. But yeah. Oh, we're, I actually want to go back to the results here in a second. So, 26 points behind uh, um, behind Tyler right now, and I think it's, that's, oh my god, that's so funny. Not only are we still tied for uh, third, but now it's just with Justin Allgaier, and Chris Rebell is tied with Noah Gregson for P5. What the hell? This is how close this entire Xfinity Championship mode is. I mean, that is... That is insanely close. My god. Alright. But yeah, I gotta go back to the results, because I actually want to see where all guy are finished, because I have no idea. Um, Michael Annette with a fast lap. I mean, it makes sense. We were actually really close to that. But Chase Briscoe led half the race and did not win. Rip. Josh Williams. Really? Only? 38th to 23rd? Man, I guess no one, no one could pass around here, which makes sense. And Jeremy Clements. Okay. So yeah, let's find out. Where did... Michael Annette, right there. Um, 14th. Okay. And Tyler Rick with another top 10. So, rip. Who decided to up and die? Chad Fincham and Caesar Baccarat. Okay, I was right. I was right, chat. All right. So, I think that's just so funny that we are still, still tied for third in the championship. Just with a new person. A grand total, this season alone, I've been tied with other drivers and points three times one for the championship lead once for uh literally last race for p3 and then now again for another p3 it's an absolutely insanity but for anyone that uh came in late here is the settings i was running with as you do strict yellow 105 difficulty 100 percent uh race length of course can't go higher than that custom difficulty um we'll get to that here in a second um Automatic transmission because apparently that's actually harder to race an automatic transition transmission, which I think is weird. But yeah, um, then over here, expert driver settings, we have um, super speedway, all this fun stuff right here. Uh, skill range narrow, compressed, and frequent mechanical failures. That's why we only had two DNS the entire race. Um, tire wear effect normal, fuel consumption. Why no stages? Because we like to be as old school as possible. With our four wins, we're still only third in the championship. That's insane how consistent that the AI is. So we're 26 points out of the championship lead, four points away from Cole Custer. Damn, a lot more settings for Heat 4 versus Heat 3. Exactly, my dude. So yeah, 
We have a lot to race for because we're going to the Robo next. It's actually going to be a very short race, so I may actually have to pair that with something else. We'll see.